Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. There is high energy and there is tension as we begin the month, but it will culminate at the full moon early in the month. And by the time we navigate mid-month, a beautiful new moon brings hope and insight and understanding in ways that I think you will love. We've also, of course, got Mars very active in the sky. Next month going retrograde, but right now in shadow. That is going to be an important development for you as well. So let's start with the full moon. It will perfect right around the third of the month. But it is going to be the buildup that we will certainly feel. Now, what is distinct about this full moon is that it is setting up a T square with Uranus. This is a larger conversation of tension. It does bring with it motivation, certainly, and energy, heightened energy at that. But this can be an energy that is very unpredictable, uh, even erratic at that. For you, this is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things, your creativity, your creative fulfillment, what it is that you really want in your heart of hearts, what it is that is joyous for you, what is fun for you. This part of the sky can also speak to things like fertility and the children you have and the children that you want. Okay, so where it comes to kids, if you do have kids in your life, you can expect them to probably be quite rebellious right about this time, which tends to happen, especially uh, when children are in the midst of a certain age. Uh, but just know that your own fertility right now could be very surprising. And so if that is something that you are wanting, well, stay open and see how it is that the universe surprises you. But of course, it doesn't necessarily have to work out that way. There are other ways in which this energy can come forward. Where it is that you are engaged in a creative project, this is where there may be factors there that do take you by surprise, but hold a lot of potential for truly creative and out of the box thinking. And if it is that you decide you've got to let loose, you've got to have fun, and that's how you want to use this energy, just know that the pursuit of fun and joy can take you in all kinds of directions uh, and bring with them, at the very least, uh, some memorable happenings. Now, there is another layer of understanding to this energy of the full moon, and that is that this might represent your own desire for change, your own impulsiveness, your own desire for transformation or in some way to experience progress that doesn't feel like it is coming where it comes to a creative endeavor. Now, regardless of what does transpire, know that the fact that it is this full moon that is happening in fellow air sign Aquarius means that you will find a way to tap into this energy to your advantage in some way. And whatever it is that is illuminated, there is something here that represents truth for you. What is it that you would rather be doing? This is a part of the sky that speaks to self-actualization. And what does that mean for you? This is gonna be a moment where you are ready to make changes, to align yourself with a path that feels much more personally fulfilling. Now, as we navigate later in the month, the new moon happens on the 19th, and this is a very different energy from the full moon earlier in the month. This beautiful new moon will be happening hand in hand with Mercury and speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Now, of course, as I mentioned, Mars, we are in shadow. Mars is having some tough connections with other power players throughout the month. We will be feeling this energy. There may be a sense of frustration where it comes to another person, but at least at this new moon, there is some clarity. There is the opportunity to talk things out, to reach a new understanding, to reach a mind level clarity through communication that ends up being beneficial to you certainly, but very likely mutually beneficial as well. Now, if it is the case that you can't or don't feel comfortable communicating with this person directly, well, it may also be the case that you are able to have a conversation elsewhere that brings perspective and a needing understanding, perhaps of your own learning, which really is the priority. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I did mention Mars, deny there is a whole Mars retrograde special 
horoscope about that, I will link to it in the description below. Relationships are going to be incredibly important for you, uh, not only in terms of this month, but certainly in the context of the larger year. This is an important and standout year in the context of love for Libras out there. And again, I spoke about that in the Mars retrograde horoscope, the year ahead horoscope as well. And I'll try to remember to link to those videos in the links uh, below. But having said that, this month and in the context of this month, consider that full moon early in the month having to do with flirtation and romance and what the heart truly desires very well can connect to a, a new perspective, a clarity as to what it is that you are finding yourself drawn to, what situations you find yourself in. A full moon is about emotional truth, the truth of what your heart knows, what your heart feels. And Uranus is very much about truth. And given where Uranus is in a part of the sky that has to do with getting to the core of a matter, well, it does represent a turning point for you in matters of heart. Now, if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you may very well connect with someone in the first days of the month. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of energy here that speaks to stability or uh, something with long-term potential. Uh, much more likely, it speaks to a very powerful attraction. Now, what you do with it is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances, but just know the energy is erratic. It is uh, an energy that is very quick moving as well. And this is going to help you to understand yourself, whom it is that you are drawn to. And in that, you may find moments of self-honesty to empower you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, in the early part of the month, there is a behavior there that may take you by surprise, that may feel very unpredictable, but it is honest. That's the thing here. There is something there that is true and your own reaction may be part of that as well. The full moon brings your own feelings to the surface. That Uranian connection does say behavior that you didn't expect came out of nowhere or your own reactions that you hadn't expected as well. Now, if it is that you're just getting to know this person, it is also possible at this time that you connect with someone else. And that is part of what helps you to understand whether or not the person you're getting to know is someone that you want to continue to get to know or not. If you are dating, this month can be very all or nothing. It is that kind of energy for those just getting to know someone. But the energy is different if you are in an established bond. Yes, we do have that full moon where it is that you're hoping for a heart level connection, understanding, or some romance. Uh, that uh, may not necessarily pan out the way that you hope. But remember, we've got Mars very active this month in your opposite sign. It does look like your partner and being present for them in some way is very important. At least when we get to that new moon, there does seem to be uh, a conversation or a connection that allows you and your partner to feel truly understood by each other. It is that new moon that says, it may very well be an important conversation that helps the two of you feel that you can talk about just about anything and find renewed commitment. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here, but I am going to say that new moon because it is this wonderful respite. We have got a mixed month ahead. It starts off with very strong energy and it represents some frustration some tension certainly but that can give way to understanding especially where it is that you are willing to communicate with others and whether it is within your own mind you feel that sense of a fresh perspective or whether it is with someone else it is going to be through communication that there's a sense of a brand new and a fresh new chapter ahead well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. And of course, Mars Retrograde special horoscopes are on my website as well, nadiashaw.com. And for the Libras out there, 
it may be a good idea for you to explore what this Mars retrograde season is going to mean for you. Well, thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.